friends, welcome back. This lesson is about the changes that are taking place in the body, but more importantly, it is about communicating an attitude to you that will help you through these changes and it will help you arrive in the body that you prefer, that you desire, that feels good, that feels aligned, that feels healed, etc. So as you've heard me speak on the transition from third to fourth density, this applies to every piece of the material within the dream of this density. Everything is a dream within consciousness, regardless of the density, regardless of the dimension. Everything is a holographic projection inside of free awareness. Now, this particular third density has a certain density of vibration. Fourth density has another whole different frequency of vibration altogether, just like, um, just like the color green is very distinct from the color yellow. So fourth density um, has us, this fourth density change that is happening as we speak is also affecting the material, the dream substance of what we would call our bodies. And so as our bodies change, it's important to recognize some of these changes because I see a lot of people run to their doctors and to their hospitals and get medicated. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you any medical advice. Everything you choose is entirely your choice. However, I see people be a little hypochondrical, hypochondrical, if that's the word, um, where they are jumping upon certain symptoms that may just ease themselves out in about a day and does not need medication, but it's simply part of this vibrational change in energy. Again, up to you. If something feels off, feel free to go to your doctor. But in general, before you make such choices, I would like you to consider, or at least I'll, I'm communicating that what I always do is I consider what is this a reflection of? It, does this feel like something is actually physically wrong right now? And the only way to adjust this is to use the permission slip of going to a doctor or going to a hospital and having it changed. Nothing wrong with that. If that's the case, perfect. Go for it. Don't hesitate. However, myself, I often notice that most all of the time when I have physical discomfort or a certain symptom, it's because I have not paid attention in a certain way. I've not been completely in balance with myself in tune with myself. I've not been paying attention to something that wanted to come to me, or it is simply a physical residue, not residue, but a physical result of the vibrational changes that I'm going through. So I might have a big epiphany or I might have a big vibrational identity shift one day and the very next day, my body might adjust in a certain way. I might not feel as good physically, or I might feel a little nauseous, or I might feel like some other symptom arises. But usually I am able to very clearly by meditation and intuition and focus tell why, why that is occurring in my body, why that discomfort is occurring and what the nature of it is. Now, if the nature is a correctable symptom that simply asks me to be in alignment with myself once again, and factually every symptom is that way, no matter how severe it has become. But sometimes, again, you might need the permission slip of physical interference of a doctor or a hospital. However, again, alignment is always what is inspired by physical discomfort. And occasionally, it's not necessarily that you were out of alignment. It's actually that you were in alignment, but now the body illusion is catching up with your changes. So be able to recognize the difference. Sometimes your body is asking you to pay attention. And sometimes the discomfort is nothing but a process, a short, usually brief process that you're going through. And usually it will look like different sleeping schedules, insomnia, as you call it. I wouldn't judge it in that way. I would just call it as a desire to sleep differently for a little period of time or different times. Um, you might feel maybe some vertigo effects or some dizziness. You might experience um, senses working slightly differently, either being amplified or being dulled down a little bit in some ways. You might experience um, being more tired or not being tired at all. You might experience not being hungry at all or wanting more food of a certain kind, etc. So those types of changes that are sort of lifestyle changes and disturbances oftentimes are simply reflections of transformations that you're going through. And it's conducive for the changes to maybe not eat as much or to maybe eat more of this particular thing. And therefore you will feel inclinations toward these things. It may be more conducive to be awake during night times. Therefore you might not be able to sleep. 
So don't judge yourself for these things. Don't go take a pill for insomnia. First explore, especially if the symptoms are not super severe, just like explore, hey, what can I do to understand this symptom better and then either realign myself or simply love myself for the fact that my body is catching up with where I'm already changed. So you will find also that the body as this transformation continues to occur, it's shedding its skin, it's shedding its third density materials. Beliefs that you've held on to have been crystallized in the body. These are being purged. Cleanses are actually quite good and I recommend every once in a while doing something along the lines of a cleanse, whether it's an, um, a more intense cleanse that like lasts for one or two weeks and it's more extreme. It's not my favorite personally, but that's for me. It might be helpful for some of you, but since I feel already very aligned and very much like my body is already pretty much catch, caught up with where I'm at and with the vibrational changes of this dream environment as we go into fourth density, for me what's the most conducive is intermittent cleansing, intermittent paying attention. Um, so for me it's very gradual, it's, it's, it's a subtler form of cleansing, but it's integrated with my everyday habits, so to speak. Uh, but if you feel like you're more weighed down by something, by accumulative effects of the past, for example, then it might be good to um, perhaps start out gradually and then do a one week cleanse, for example. And, and your imagination, your intuition will guide you to the proper procedure for you to, um, to have that cleansing experience. Now, of course, this is all a permission slip, but I do recommend it because it's very much embedded in our collective automatic mind consciousness. So it's part of the rules that make up our dream conditions. So drink more water in general, I would recommend for most people to drink more water because that is a consistent gradual cleansing. Um, and just pay attention to how your body wants you to change certain things, certain habits perhaps, and be gentle with yourself. Don't try too extreme unless you're so inspired that you know you can do it. But gradually listen more to your body. Notice that you don't like the negative effects when you keep doing what's not good for you. And notice the positive effects when you keep consistently doing what does feel good for you. So start to feel good about doing what feels good to you and start feeling not so good or not so inspired by what does not make you feel good to do. And if you can get your mind around that in that way, it becomes easier and easier to naturally be in a lifestyle and be in a diet and be in a exercise routine or none of these, but one that feels good to you, one that feels like it's actually conducive to where you're at and how you're changing. Again, the symptoms that arise may either be a signal for you to pay more attention and to correct an imbalance in your mind, in your way of thinking going from lack to abundance, going from separation and disconnect to reconnection and alignment and feeling amazing inside. And or it may be simply an after effect of you going through a certain change or your environment, us as a, co as a cosmic entity, so to speak, going through a vibrational change, a vibrational upgrade, a vibrational shift from third to fourth density, the body is adjusting. Now this, I'm talking about the level of symptoms, but really what's happening to a lot of us is again, the shedding of the skin, the shedding of third density mater materials and belief systems that were sort of, in a sense, stored in the bodily form, because everything you think becomes your body, so to speak. The body is nothing but the mind in a tangible, consistent physical form that seems to travel with you as you're traveling through all these infinite parallel realities but it's constantly reflecting where you're at vibrationally with your mind. So when you make a significant change in the mind or in your way of thinking or in your way of seeing, if you make a significant vibrational change, the body will have to make a significant change. And that may come with certain symptoms, but what's actually happening is that you're letting go of certain realities that has been crystallized as your body and you're embracing new structures. You're embracing new ways for your body to crystallize itself. Now in general, for everyone, the body is becoming more lighter as it's changing its substance, it's evolving its substance. The very fabric that it's made of is changing gradually. And yes, DNA is opening up. I don't know what the right word is. Most people say it's activating. It is in a sense, enlightening itself. It is in a sense, becoming more conducive. It is in a sense, becoming more hooked into the non-physical portions of its DNA. DNA has non-physical portions that we do not perceive of. Now these will be, in a sense, locked in more, more um, efficiently in communication. It will be in communication with our physical or quasi-physical DNA. 
And so communication between ourselves and our higher selves, between our physical being and our non-physical being will become more and more transparent, will become more and more conducive to change, to immediate malleability, to actually experiencing that this is a lucid dream. So we are being activated, our bodies are changing and they're becoming more conducive conduits for our consciousnesses to express themselves through in this dreamlike world that we all share. So we are upgrading not only vibrationally, but also physically because it has to. It's a reflection of where we're at. As a result, you may experience some changes. You may experience some effects. Don't panic too soon about these things. First, ask yourself in meditation or intuition or through intuition or imagination for the greatest clarity as to why these effects are occurring to you. And if you notice exactly where it's coming from, you'll get a hit of clarity and excitement and you know exactly how to balance it or how to let it be as it is. Just wanted you to know about this so that you can pay attention to that. Thank you. I'll see you in the next lesson.